yeah, saw a lot of cool, um, cool stuff coming out around the birthday. So really enjoying that as well. Uh, we're going to celebrate right here with, uh, I think, what's going to be a really cool match. I mean, FaZe are fun to watch. Complexity are fun to watch. Uh, I think most people on the FaZe side. I don't know if you noticed, but I went with the uh, with the anti-maniac strategy of just picking whatever, the opposite of whatever he was picking. So I feel pretty confident, actually. Yeah, he's been the old, let's hold the thought, because here comes some aggression into the upper bomb site. Smoke in towards mini garage, and ooh, they want to drop down the vet. They're getting tagged up. Cold Zera grabs config, and that's a big time player taken out. Blame F on his lurk, and if FaZe have done their research, they'll know he's going to be coming in to backstab away from the action. It's a pretty good bomb plant, but they did take a bit of damage for it, and they're also out of grenades. So now the rest is going to have to be up to the pistols. Nothing else will save them here, and showing your face to Cold Sierra is generally a very bad idea, although he's missing a lot of shots. The final one goes through. I don't know why Poison kept sticking around. I feel like it was doomed to go badly. Brokey will take down Rush, and that leaves Blameth. You know, a very, very tough one versus four. He's going to bust open the door and get taken right down by Rain. And that's a nice retake coming in from FaZe, and they will win the pistol round. Yeah, I have to imagine they just knew they did so much damage over over to the face side of things that they wanted to continue that fight. You're exactly right. They could have backed away, but I mean, look at the positions when FaZe begins this retake. That's the other tough part. It's kind of hard to decide that you're going to abandon your teammates because none of them are any safe positions. They're all close up on that ramp taking fights. No one was able to get back in towards the doors and towards control. So that's, uh, that's pretty tough to hold off as FaZe sends so many bodies in from ramp room. So one to nothing, a nice, uh, nice little pistol round there from FaZe. Yeah, that was well done. I mean, they, they didn't seem panicked at all. They sort of knew that they had uh, that they were in a four on four and the bomb was down, but you didn't sense any kind of madness of people running in trying to fight alone. I mean, Cold Sierra missing a couple of shots, but, he, but that wasn't, you know, him panic clicking away. He was actually feeling feeling pretty casual about the whole thing. So um, it's nice. The scariest part of that pistol round was Nico had the kit with one HP. So if he'd been dropped far back, just a stray bullet, you know, that, that kit was everything. That kit might have uh, made it very difficult to get the defuse on time. Regardless, yeah. the second round has a buy due to the plant. Two AK-47s and Blame F going to lead the way. One of the strongest fragging in-game leaders we have. And he's done it on Bamas this time around. No idea they were creeped up that close. And FaZe must scramble to recover. Nobody downstairs just yet. It's Nico to be the first contact. Oh, but Rush is close with the Famas. They're both going to beat him at the same time. A good headshot, though, from Poison to take down Nico. That's actually not bad at all. Obo will make sure Rain doesn't get any more kills here. And now it's a 2 on 3, but they're so low on health. This is still pretty winnable for FaZe, in my opinion. They've got the health for it here, and they almost drop Obo. The bomb will go down at the very least, but that is certainly the end of it. Nothing that Obo could do behind the silo. So an expensive and dangerous round. But, um, I mean, they held on to it, FaZe. The bomb plant, though, I wonder if with the kills here as well, complexity, would you would you want to buy in this round for them? All right. Do it. Why not? I mean, I don't... I, listen, I'll be honest. I don't think I'd make the call, but I'm not going to fight against the call if complexity pulls it off. I mean, they have the economy very low. They have two plants in these two rounds. They've been able to get into the bomb sites in both rounds and actually get that bomb down, but not able to defend it. So I think there's a lot of reasons why you could make the argument complexity should buy. And this is a nice happy medium, obviously. The, the halfway investment, upgraded pistols, armor, a little bit of utility across the board for complexity. A buy designed once again to keep some money low, get two to three kills, hopefully get a bomb plant, and set yourself up nicely for the first rifle round. Yeah, sometimes, uh, the, I mean, this can work. It, it sort of, it serves both purposes, right? It keeps the pressure on the phase economy, assuming a couple of kills could be had with the deagles or the tech nines, uh, but it still, it makes them able to buy the next round anyway. So yeah, the best of both worlds in some sense. Tech nines, always uh, exciting in my opinion. I'm, I've, I've made a long-term call on tech nines coming back into the meta. Uh, yeah, you have. I like I like seeing their increased usage. I like seeing some steps towards that meta. Oh, they're like uh, they're like overalls, man. They're making a comeback. <laughs> yeah, you 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 made that prediction. I didn't see us getting into fashion so early in the day, Jason. But I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm not I'm happy that we're here. <laughs> Look at Blamer. Yeah, we're, we're with the best fashion of all. Yeah, and this is this is what I'm curious about. Like, we know Yanko very well. 
he puts he's he's very hard working he's going to have noticed this as soon as you watch one demo on every single map blame F is away from the action turning himself into an aggressive lurker they have to know it's going to be happening on nuke we saw it ourselves in the navi game earlier he can be so deadly in this so i'm wondering what phase's plan is to contain him because at least in this round they haven't done it at all well they were certainly ready rain already looking for that uh that heaven position so far they've done no damage here very important if Poison can pick up another kill, actually, and he's not going to be able to. So, really well handled by FaZe. That's excellent, and yeah, I think you actually bring up uh, or open the door to a, to a deep point, right? There are teams in the past, that's a funny Molotov, um, that have that have actually had this problem. I mean, I think the, the ultimate example you could come up with would be the classic NIP lineup, where as soon as you found Get Right, you could be pretty sure that the rest of the team would be somewhere else. Um, and obviously, Complex, they have to make sure that they don't, you know, fall into that pattern uh, of, you know, as soon as you find blame, if you're like, okay, well, you know, we, we kind of, we can guess some of the rest of it is here. Gotta switch it up a little bit. Well, at least this round, or that round, they handled it well, even though they didn't stop him at all from making progress outside. We'll see if that motivates him to continuously go back to that. This round, at least, Nico is there to at least get a spot, put a stop to it if he can. Pretty standard setup from the defense as well. Two in the bomb site, one up in heaven in support of Nico. For the moment, here come the smokes on complexity, utility usage outside. A little bit of HE tossed out from Nico as well, deep towards outside on the T side of things, does no damage, and complexity rotates back around towards lobby. I really love this from Nico. He's so aggressive out here, but he's going to get a lot of information about what's basically not happening in the yard at all, and that'll make them more comfortable sticking around ramp and inside of the A-bomb side. A kill on Rain here would be massive, and yep, yeah, Obo had a big shot of doing that. If they get Cold Zero, this round's probably over. He's gonna get one big kill, but there's so many targets and a second pickup for Obo. A big double. Let's just see if they could get a random run for the smoke. That might be the only way to get back into this round. Nice spray and good damage, almost burning out poison, but it's still a four on three, and FaZe have to think about the economy. They have to respect the fact that they don't have that much money to work with. They're gonna be backing out that is a nice hit for complexity in the fourth round yeah that aggressive peek from rain in towards squeaky door backfired not only did he not win the fight there's there's no way for cold zero to help him out there's no way from the player that was up in heaven to be able to help them out in any way either that fight was way way too deep three to one will be the scoreline for phase and Complexity have got the uh, the success off the that second round, obviously. Taking, what, three kills in that round, able to get another bomb plant, keeping the money low, and they're rewarded very early on in this half. Jason. The Moss will be able to drop in M4 over, so will Brokey, so it'll be another strong buy for FaZe. Yeah, they'll be able to uh, to manage, which I guess, that's also good why they, they made that call pretty much early on, so I'd like to see it. How do you feel about the Anti-Maniac uh, prediction strat? Is that... Do you think that's some sound logic behind that? I, I felt think, good about it. You know, statistically, statistically, it feels very um, viable when you consider that the only consistently consistency we've had in, in this week of Counter Strike, you know, we've seen teams go up and down and weird performances. The only consistency has been Maniac getting 0-3s. That's what so I thought. So I think you're on you're onto something here. Yeah. Okay. Well. We're, we're finding out right now. Rain is going to be going down rush with a clean opening. And my god, they just exploded this A bomb site. FaZe looked like they, I don't know, they were all cleaning out their mice or something at that point in time. Having a little conversation. Got just caught with their pants down. Cleaning out their mice? Why did know. you just like revert back to the ball mice of 2001? You know, that was always, <laughs> uh, it was it was a good thing. It, it's an excuse we've lost, uh, you know, like, I uh, had too much. You know. Okay, yeah, there's a, there's a hair on my on, on the ball mouse. Yeah, that doesn't work anymore. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. So I had to come up with something. They looked like they were a little bit lost in that, uh, okay. in that defense. Yeah, I'm not a, that's, that's another, that's back-to-back -back rounds. Rain has taken, has swung and taken that fight into the squeaky door room. I'm wondering if that's by design, if he's thinking there's only going to be one person there, but regardless, two rounds, he's been punished for it. And obviously, once he falls down, Cold Zera has no help in that upper bomb site. He's even blind while doing it. It's a Cold Zera flashbang as well. So some, uh, some miscues at that upper bomb site defense for FaZe. At least early on. Six you know kills on Rain, though. Seven on Coldzera, zero on Bamas, and zero on Nico. You know what I just noticed? 
Rush was drinking that little cup of coffee, and it made him look real sophisticated that it was like a tiny little mug and not, you know, not a giant one, because I think Simple has that giant one. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start pick, like, just getting smaller mugs. It just makes you look like you're, you're smart for some reason. Have you thought about that? <laughs> no, I've never actually noticed that. You should get glasses as well, Andrew. Maybe we could get the that supposedly, I, supposedly makes you look smart. I had glasses once, and it does not make me look smart. I fear nothing will, but um, but you should. We should get a replay of Russian and that. Ooh, nice peek and Obo to pick up Rain. This is a bit of a worrying sign. I mean, Face could recover from this, but these are some early rounds where complexity are just absolutely beating them up in that A side. Yeah, and now, uh, ooh, Nico. With the M4, able to grab one kill. Molotov out towards secret stairs just in case. Nobody's there. This M4 that's boosted up in ramp room could be so brutal. If Brokey can just properly bait, because it does look like the bomb is joining Oboe. It does look like Complexity are going to head towards ramp room. And this could be the wrong decision. This could be the only decision, actually, that allows FaZe to win this round. Here he is, waiting for his moment. Good tags from... Brokey and oh, they swing for it. Everyone's looking for the boost, and Nico was even there. They had the opportunity, they had the chance, and Complexity handles it with great aplomb. Yes, they do. Uh, that was that's we we talk about protocols sometimes, and that was clearly one of them at work there. Config, he was looking for it. He wasn't worrying at all about the box. Uh, you're right though. That was maybe the one big problem there would have been if no one had, or if Config went down. Uh, as the first man in, that could have left uh, the mass with a pretty big uh, opportunity to do a lot here. So, all tied up, three to three, and FaZe are able to buy. But that's the round loss bonus that's now started to kick in uh, to help them a little bit. Still means no AWP on the on the FaZe side, which they don't have to pick up. But just as a function of the money, they can't. Man, as long as they have the economic advantage, it seems like Complexity is more than happy to just brute force their way into map control. And I don't think anyone's rotated downstairs in time to help out the Moss. Nope. This is... Save. This is, uh, crazy. I don't think it's worth it. You don't have the money to lose this round. It sucks, but no one is really... I mean, Rain is the only one that started to make his way down. Otherwise, they're, they're just nowhere nearby. It's going to take so long to try and get here. And the fact that Blame is holding ramp means that they don't even have to worry about ramp room. They could just look for the window and, and, the, and the vents, and that's it. They don't actually have to think about it. And yeah, already FaZe started to back on out. That is... This is such an explosive start for Complexity, winning four in a row. Well, I think this next round is where that these these fast rushes, these aggressive hits from Complexity just have to naturally slow down, and that's fine. Complexity's got four rounds based off this style. I, at this juncture in the game, you're going to be very pleased with what with what it's brought you in terms of the scoreboard. But now, with four M4 saved, next round you're going to see phase with Molotovs, AG grenades, smokes for the choke points. Those fast tactics, if you want to pull them off, you're going to be running through flames. So. Got to be a little bit careful if you're complexity how you play this one out. Might be time to pump the brakes for a round or two. Yeah, I mean that's always interesting, right? Like, when something is working, if you if you just keep pushing uh, pushing that same button, eventually you're it's uh, it's not going to be responding any longer. So you have to make that switch. And, and if you could do it before it breaks down, obviously you look like even more of a genius. So see what Blame F has got for us. Could be a change of pace there. Already being pretty aggressive uh, outside. Swinging behind that wall. Nico going to be a grenade landing and does a lot of damage and some great spray and they can't really they can't stop to try and fight him through the smoke. That makes no sense at all. But Rush again winning a fight against Rain inside of the A side and he's ready in case someone wanted to drop down behind him. Bumas has to respect the fact that he does not have the weapon or really the backup to try and fight this alone. So could be a quick bomb hunt coming in here if Complexity feel they have the space for it. How are you going to get back in? Poison, close up. It looks like he wants to take a peek. They have another Tagged Molotov. up just a bit. And all four players from FaZe are going to be coming from ramp room, much like the pistol round. Good opening kill from Brokey. Smoke is down towards control windows. Flashbang out, and now the retake begins. 
Pretty good smokes here. Convict gonna jump through to try and be there early. Actually waiting inside for a minute. Oh boy, it's got a very dangerous gap, but they're pre-firing it. I think they know about it. That's some smart play. Convict goes down. This retake is looking really good at the moment. It's just Oboe, and I don't think you do anything to stop the bomb. It's just one second left. So many smokes here. And I think a big, big missed opportunity for Complexity. It was a brilliant retake from FaZe, but the fact that all of FaZe were retaking from the ramp, and I think Rush still had another Molotov, they could have pushed all of them onto one side of that retake, and it would have been super deadly. I think also the fact that four players from FaZe are in ramp room caught Poison off guard. Yeah. He's got a nice position close up, and I'm not even against that peak, but obviously if there's one or two players there, if he goes one for one, that's a victory of sorts. When he peeks into four players, like, and you lose that battle, that's, that's rough, and then it opens the floodgates. I don't think he expected that many bodies. Well, Listen, FaZe is showing that they can retake bomb sites. The crazy thing is they haven't shown us that they can actually hold the bomb sites. That battle between Rush and Rain at Squeaky Door and the upper bomb site is is dictating a lot of what's happening on the map right now. Yes, it is. And again, I think it can only be a matter of time before Rain starts to wake up. He's a monstrous player, but uh, here's something else that really made that retake incredibly doable. I think they had four smokes on the phase side, and you could see they smoked the door, they smoked the double doors, they smoked the window. They knew that there might have been a gap, so they were just pre-firing Oboe, forcing him back. I mean, that the amount of grenades that yeah. phase in the retake were great. Here we go, all tied up. This is quite the battle early on. Even Nico in that previous round, that duel on top of... The silo against Blame F, he's lucky to be alive. Yeah. And again, he'll be challenged by Blame F, who's just biding his time. Yeah, worried about that flashbang. Could be a sign that someone is out by the container, which Nico technically is. Let's just see. He's looking over it. They have a pretty good idea. That's a nice headshot. Looked like Config was actually should have been able to spot him, but uh, might have been looking somewhere else. Orp on Brokey, Oboe on the other side, he does see it, yep, he definitely saw the shoulder, good opening kills, and finally a round that starts off well here in favor of FaZe, which I think is going to be uh, just a nice little bit of a, of a beginning for them in this round, if they can save the rifles here, I think that's the next goal, obviously, don't lose too many in the three on five. No, you've seen uh, complexity, the, the huge win condition of controlling the economy, is you can't let them have it back, right, like that can't be a thing. So you're right, preserving the weapons you have if your phase has got to be priority number one. Over towards heaven we go. The Moss has dropped into the bomb site itself, so there's no one at the top of the ladder. He's got to watch it from below, and that's a bit dangerous. Rush is going to come up and see absolutely nobody. Blame F back in lobby to pinch this upper bomb site with two coming from heaven. This oh, is dangerous, dear. and that Molotov was just too late. Rush with spectacular entries, and Blame F in a perfect position to shut down the rotation. Oh, what? That is absolutely, definitely illegal. He just took him down. He, oh my god, it's a two-on-two two now. What a ridiculous kill. Poison's still gonna hit that shot. I can't deal with that. He came flying off the ladder. Oh, broke in a one versus two with the AWP. I can't even believe Complexity are in this round at all. They should have lost it a while ago. Nice shot from Brokey, but rushes up there with a the Molotov. There's nothing you can do about it, Brokey. It's actually going to go way too far. Brokey with a chance, and he gets the kill. Oh, no. Rush, he just gave it away. That just needed to be right on top, and they would have had it. And instead, that's a, that's a round that they're going to... That's going to really, really hurt Complexity, surely. Just mentally. That's, that's just a Molotov, and they win. This is so stupid. I didn't get to see this in POV. <laughs> this. Yeah, he comes launching off Call that the thing. police, that's... Oh. That is all... <laughs> that is all lucky recoil. Oh, dear lord. Well, they needed it because Complexity outplayed them entirely in that round. A three on five into a one on one. And if it weren't for a Miss Molotov, it would have been a Complexity win with no problem. I don't even understand. His, his crosshair was miles away from him. And it's still a headshot. Man. How you like them apples? Yeah, when... <laughs> it's when you, you're playing Counter-Strike, but you're also happy to be a Jedi. And it just doesn't even matter, does it? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Someone should make that. That sounds like a great game. Well, 
It's out there in the world now. Someone can pick it up. Tenth round is coming in, and I mean, just I don't know. We could we could go back and talk about that round like ten different ways. The failed Molotov at the end, but the fact that it should have never been even close in a three on five to begin with. I, I mean, like there's just so many things. Yeah, and uh, it's hard to pinpoint any one. Cold Zera gonna be peering in towards that. Oh, he's in danger. Rush has been being so powerful on entries. Rush is spotted in the hunt. Again, Rain goes down first. This is turning into a nightmare for him on defense. They turn from the flashbang and Cold Zera can get nothing else done. And without Rain's presence, Cold Zera and Nico just have all focus in their direction. I I can't. I I hesitate to blame it on just one person in in, in Rain, but something's gotta change. Yeah, you're I mean it's hard to ignore. It's, I don't even think it's about blaming him personally, but it's just that, you know, there, there is that thing about a chain only being as strong as its weakest link. And unfortunately, in a bombsite like this, if you can consistently find a kill on one guy, then it just puts so much pressure on. Uh, yeah, definitely. Well, the real problem, too, it's not even the kill on Rain in isolation. It's, it's the fact that Rain's not getting a kill himself. Like, if it was one for one, that'd be entirely different, right? But when it's such a clean win, like three out of three times we've seen com complexity attack that position. It's been a clean win under rain, and then there's nothing else that anyone can do. Yeah, it's it's really a problem. So the good Molotov they throw into the corner there, but um, and I think again that was a cold zero assisting with a kill on rain. Not that it's cold zero's fault, but it's just say that there is some off timing. There's something that's not working in a perfect world. Yeah, great. Have cold zero for the flashbang and have rain peek behind it while they're all flashed. But they're getting the timing just enough wrong that it's at least also affecting rain, which is a bit of an issue. Here we go, Obo right through, and they're gonna get the opening frag once again this time on cold zero, and it's mostly pistols on the phase side of things. Rain is gonna be going down next. And save the rifles is the call immediately. I I can't remember the last time I've seen a team being able to walk in really against anyone on this A bomb side in such a fashion. It this has got to come to an end. They did it against uh, Navi as well. If you remember the game, that complexity, the series, that complexity upset Navi just a couple days ago. The first like five six rounds was all Navi, but once complexity figured it out, they were able to get into that upper bomb site whenever they pleased. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is impressive stuff from the complexity offense, and this isn't even like super tactical. The other the other side of the coin is, this is just like brute force. Except you're you're brute forcing over players like Nico, like Cold Zera, some of the best players in the game. It's really quite spectacular, isn't it? And you wonder. Again, I'm just I'm just waiting for them to make a, ch a change in the strategy here. Like, let's say they go fight Nico outside, all three of them, and, you know, try and overpower him. That would just add even more to it. It's a huge constellation of players here that are doing really well on the complexity side. It's seven kills for Poison and Oba, Config and Rush at six. Blame is doing a bit less, but it doesn't even matter right now. I think you got to start if you're if your phase if you're those defenders rain and cold zero you got to start looking at a fundamental change to your positioning as well on top of hunt up in the rafters something that's going to make it more difficult but they're obviously zoned in to the corner vent and to the bomb site itself well they're going to be sneaking past out here nico throwing no grenades and no spams or anything that's uh with the bomb down underneath and really only rain is down here so He's had a rough uh, couple of rounds here. Let's see if he could do more if he's going to be the first encounter downstairs. He definitely could be. Brokey's transitioned into the upper bomb site with the AWP. So there's a bit of a shift for you. Cold Zera's there as well. Out in the opening on the floor. Rain is just coming up the vent at the moment. And actually, Ooh, for FaZe, yeah. nobody is downstairs. Not a yeah. single person is at the lower bomb site, and it's about to be a free plant for complexity. This is weird. Rain is just down here. I wonder why FaZe made the call to give it up entirely. I, I have no idea. I mean, it, Nico outside wants the smoke fades. Obviously, he sees no one. Maybe he thinks, you know what, that was just a fake. They're probably going to go A again. It's, I don't know, it's a dangerous call to be making. We've got no info at all. Gonna get the kill on Rush, and 
blame it for take down cold Sierra. And as long as he can stay alive, even low on health out here, he's going to be a super big annoyance to them. He also has a Molotov, so if he gets over towards ramp, uh, at some point, maybe he could even stop a defuse late in the round here. There is one single smoke on Bemasa. That's something that they're missing here for phase, which previously in the B-bomb side, they had great retakes with a lot of smokes. This time, just the one. So let's see how this plays out. A must-win round for phase. They are really struggling early on in this game. Nice flashbang right in the eyes, but it doesn't even matter as Oboe will come in with a strong double kill. And Brogy, he's about to get shot in the back as well by Blame F. Co in complexity, the Juggernaut is up and running right now. This is insanity. What a great showing from complexity to start this map. Look at the money. 15,000 on Config, 15,000 on Poison, 12,000 on Oboe, 10,000 on Blame F. They have lost two players in the last three rounds during this three to nothing run. And base base have absolutely no answer. Whether it's whether it's cold start individually that they can't even get kills, or just getting outplayed entirely. Complexity is steamrolling them, and there's nothing that can stop it. Fast paced again. And what an entry provided by Config. He's gonna follow oh it up God. and through the smoke, one more up to heaven, and he makes it look easy. <laughs> What's actually going on? Did they did they all put on <laughs> magnetic helmets this morning, Jason? Is it some sort of prank? Like, ha ah, bullets just fly into their faces all the time. Good config just <laughs> tapping through the smoke. This is so ridiculous. I I've got no explanation. Eight to five lead. Well, that's so, so incredible. No one's even necessarily going super crazy. Config and Oba both had 10 kills. It's not like someone's got like, you know, 18 kills to just carry them. And now Poison's going to be able to pick off Brokey. Every time this defense shifts and tries something new, Complexity's ready. And nico has got to overextend because he's feeling the desperation. He knows they've been getting absolutely decimated. Spots the head of Config but can't land the shot. Trying with the Molotov to help out. I actually like the play from Brokey. I think it's a nice idea to try and do that. And Nico getting the kill on Poison. You have to assume Poison was scoped up and looking somewhere else. Heads up play for Blame F. Sees it coming. Nico just trying to get his team back into this round. And he's doing a fantastic job of it. Finally going to get flanked out by Config. But, I mean, fair play to Nico. He's really active out there looking for all those kills. And they've done a lot of damage on the Blame F and Config. So even the 2 on 3 here, it could be one. But there's a minute left. And oh, Rush. Oh, no. The timing again. There he goes back for it. He sensed it somehow. Cold Zero is going to be so frustrated. Pushing into lobby, looking straight down. The Moss does win that fight on Config. He's down to 19 HP. Full base on Blame F. And good shot from Rush. Even with the flashbang coming in, holds his nerve. A four round lead for Complexity. <laughs> this is such an absurd game. I don't know what I was expecting. I knew the Maniac Curse was pretty strong, but I, I had no idea it was going to be to this extent, I'll be honest. Um, it's, it's wild to see. 15th round, and uh, we got from Arsis, we got the MP9, we got the 1M4 on Nico, and generally not that many grenades to be working with. This is just an enormously powerful performance coming out from Complexity right now. Oh, here we go. Cold Zera and Rain finally holding on, but it's in. 15th round the damage has been done so the fact they've been able to stem the tide in this round is a very piss poor consolation yeah. no one from phase is going to be happy about this half it's going to be nine to six in the favor of complexity yeah that's how i mean if you if you rush a as many times as complexity did in the first half here that's how a lot of those rounds are meant to play out basically yeah you try and get through the smoke but a famas or an m4 on the other side it gets the right angle and you go down or you get flashed and it's uh, the fact that it's been working as well as it has is sort of head scratching. So I am, uh, yeah, I'm glad to see FaZe pick up this last round. I think that's that's going to be a little bit nice. And it's not done. I mean, nine to six is not great. Of course, they can still win it. Of course, they could go on a similar run themselves once they go on the T side. So it's definitely too early to be celebrating. 
Blame F sneaking in a kill, but there's still 45 seconds to find another three or get the bomb down, and that's never gonna happen. Nine to C, and now we're gonna need to see FaZe start to wake up and come back into this game because it's um it's looking a bit dicey right now. Let's win this pistol round and see what they bring us. A couple of smokes already out. They wanna rush, they wanna see if they can maybe do the same thing back here to them. Config with a good headshot to try and stem the tie, but it's not gonna matter. Cold Sierra is angry, and we all know what that means. Alrighty, poison up top. That was quick. I look, if I had to, if I had to guess the strat call, that was Faze saying we can do the same exact thing. A nice quick upper hit poison, waiting, and he's got rain below him. That's a nice peep. Tagged up a little bit. Can't get the kill, and that should seal the pistol round. No chance of coming back into it for Oboe in a one versus four. Yo, just a. I mean, yeah, I, I completely agree. Say, so, you know what? We didn't enjoy that all that much. Let's make sure they get a taste of it too. So, a good pistol round of being picked up from FaZe. And I'm I'm so excited they pick up this round because I actually want this game to... I hope this is going to be all three maps. The way that they're playing right now, I, I have no doubt that FaZe are going to be bouncing back either on this map or in uh, in one of the two next ones. So, like, I think... I just... I, don't, I like the way that they're all playing right now. This is, this is an exciting Counter-Strike. We've got the Eagles. We've got a Scout on Poison. So, FaZe... Yeah, still in some danger here. Nico trying to go down the vent. I am not sure. Is he lost inside of it? Someone else went down. Oh, no. And it's Config looking straight up. I, I don't even know what really happened. I think Config and down looked straight up. Nico tried to follow him, and it all went horribly wrong. He had a knife out as well. Is, is everyone crazy? <laughs> well, everyone is a little bit crazy. That's... Oof, that's scary. Config now with the Galil. Rush has moved in. This might even be the more dangerous one. The position that Rush has switched into. Oh, yeah. Over towards Squeaky Door. Pushed in during all the secrecy, all the quiet, all the attempted drop down. Brokey's tabbed up as well. And now the HP is starting to disappear for FaZe. This round gets so tough for them to win. And they're going to start being split. Brokey has nowhere to go. Rush is found, but Cold Zera, strangely, can't oh. win the fight. That is a great follow-up shot. I was about to say that could have been added to another potential uh, screw up there by Rush. He's had a couple of them so far, but he made up for it on that second Deagle shot. So take a sip of that sophisticated coffee, Rush, and just continue to fight. He almost takes down Bumas as well. So now it's a two on two, but look at the health that's left here on the phase side. This is really not good news. That bomb is right there. And they don't have any more grenades or anything to get rid of Config here. He's going to get the kill on Brokey almost no matter what. And another bullet will take down Bamas. Now there's some backup here. Oh, the grenade actually. I can't believe Config leaves past it. That could have been a real game changer here. But there's 18 seconds. And he's just trying to see if he can get down to the B-bomb side. Not going to be allowed. And Complexity will steal it back. That has me instantly worried for FaZe. Look at this. Config goes down. And he's like, hold on. There's feet right on my face. That's not meant to happen. Yeah, what a gift that's given over to him. And, I mean, this this was the big one. The Rush moving into that position, and this is this is really cool to see from Rush because he was uh, he had a really yeah. tough time performing to any kind of real level towards the end of his time in Cloud Nine. This complexity team has been reinvigorating for him, and he's he's stepping up to the plate. That's really cool to see. Yeah, there's there's actually just uh. That's a lot of talking points to be had around his career specifically, I think. I hope one day they do a full recap and bring everyone up to speed. Ooh, that's, that's a decent yeah. grenade. Uh, his would be a fun fun story to go back and retell. I, yeah. Fun might not be the right word. It'd be a, a sad, depressing tale for most of it, but there'd be some happy moments. An educational story, I think, is the, is the what we're looking for here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there's something there's something really human about it, isn't there? Like you know, like running into a lot yeah. of problems. Some of the problems being yourself, <laughs> and then finding a way to. Uh, and many of them, many of them not being your problem at all, just having yeah. to deal with them. Good shooting from Config on the cross. He's holding it down uh, spectacularly, and this should be an eleventh round for Complexity. And they're looking great. Okay. <laughs> Oko just tapping away. This is this is craziness. I, how much longer are we going to be surprised by how well Complexity plays? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, it, it, I think it always happens, doesn't it, when when you see a, a, a team really sort of shoot through the ranks like this. There's that moment where we're all just saying, like, no, surely not. I mean, they, they, can't, they can't keep going. Um, and if, every once in a while it happens, and they will. So um, 
11 to 7. No money left on Faye's side. And Complexity don't show any signs of slowing down at the moment. Uh, who was I thinking about just now for the major? Um, I guess I guess Gambit had a, had a run like that once where, you know, like, continues to be able to just predict them to lose all games and they just kept going. So, yeah, there's, there's been some examples in yeah. history. Yeah, we've got, a, we've got a few. Ooh, Blame F sees one on top of this silo. Forces him away. That's rain. All Glocks, Anders. They do have a, uh, they do have a flashbang. You happy about that? Glock? Yeah, I'm kind of happy about the Glocks. <laughs> and the flashbang. <laughs> What about the f and the flash? <laughs> there we go. For the upper bomb site, it heads, and we shall see the slaughter that ensues. Nice uh, hold of the trigger from Rush. Config pouncing over at the vents, and Nico has nothing left to do but die. Yeah, virtual high fives all around. It's it's 2020, so that's become a thing now as well. Didn't think I would live to to see the day, but but here we are. Five round gap and uh, complexity. I, I mean, who 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 who's the person on the face side right now, Jason? That will that will make this team come alive again. Man, take your pick. Nico, Coldzera, I mean, Broki and Bamas have been both performing very well at times. I think the the scary part for me is phase. Throughout times of their uh, their lifespan as a team, their T side on Nuke has been spectacularly um, rough to watch, and that's I hope they don't descend back into that because it hasn't been the case for some time. Pretty much since Cold Zera had a reasonable amount of experience within this lineup, ever since he's joined and had some time in the team, they've looked much much better. But I hope they don't revert back to a very strange T side. I mean, the real issue is they're not going to have a a really long runway here to figure out how to solve it if there are problems, right? Like, they're so close to the finishing line of complexity that if, if FaZe lose a couple of, of rounds early on, it's not even gonna matter. That's a nice flashbang in from Poison setting up to... Uh, for Blamef to get the kill on Nico, who was already low from an earlier grenade, or at least had taken 30 damage, so... That's pretty good. 50 seconds on the clock, and they're waiting for the smoke to disappear, but... Once they come through, there's gonna be some pretty good defense here. Grenade, or it's gonna land right on top. What an incredible grenade, and M4 combo. And even then, Poison is hiding, and why would they check this? There's no reason for Poison to be here once Oboe's already gone down. Oh, he wanted a big double! Oh. And that is a little bit greedy. I think I still think they've got a pretty good shot at actually defending this round, although Rain is coming in from behind. Is Blamef running right back into his open arms, and now it's 20 seconds, and Config will go down i might have to eat those words maybe poison did get a bit too greedy now the bomb is going to be planted here and rush coming in opening the door right time oh he came off the bomb plant had some heads up play from rain now 10 seconds and he has to go for the bomb plant in safety behind the silo grenade it'll do a little bit but it won't kill him now he's just low on health and rush can he clutch it this time around rain is there oh and what a headshot <laughs> to bring him down nice triple and a huge round out of phase Rain just shoulder peeking so he can dial in on the location, and that is a spectacular one tap. So very quick, and he was trading the whole way into this bomb site. He was the one every time his teammates went down, he had the follow up kill. What a difficult round for FaZe to win. They had to grind it. I don't know. I, I don't think Poison was being greedy. I think that was actually a super smart, a super good play. Aside from the fact that he was actually like walking out into the open out of the corner at the same time while waiting for the second player to come in. And that's what made him so exposed to Cold Zera. If he just stayed tucked into that corner, I think he would have been fine with a double kill. Yeah, that could well be right. You might have been, uh, you might be on point there. I don't know. It's, I mean, yeah, it's always hard to blame people for, for, uh, for things like that because you're right. I mean, if he gets the kill and gets traded, and, you know, it's like a two on three. Maybe they still, maybe they still end up winning the round. Hard to say. Anyway, a uh, little mistake there, and we'll see if they can make up for it. Good opening this time. It's Poison going down uh, outside to Nico. Blamef is over by the secret stairs, waiting for his moment. Could be another flash in by a teammate. I he's going to go down. No flashes uh, or came at all. Nico hitting another headshot, trying to continue out here, and he'll find a third kill. He's so ready to fight. Here we go. Nico setting up with a nice opening, and then the follow-up follow-up kills after the fact. Three on two, and Config is going to drop down. This is where FaZe is headed as well. So an early smoke over towards the control side doors. Gonna block them off for the moment. I don't know if FaZe is gonna be scared of it, and Config might get caught in transition. That's a bold play with the flashbang. And he's gonna move into the bomb site. 
It's a long time to be waiting down here on your own. 25 seconds. It looks like they want to go back up and Rush is actually in a really good position, but he's going to go down. That's Nico finding a th fourth kill, sorry. I, I mean, again, if he would have won that fight against Nico, how are they meant to get up without at least taking another casualty? Now it's Config trying to get back into the mix here. He's almost catching Nico at the right time. Could be a slow ace all across the round. Oh, he's almost had it. That is, I think he deserved that. He's put in all the effort to win this round. Yeah, he did a phenomenal job. Every single kill that's been that's been put up for the phase side of things got him into the bomb site as well. But at least he finds config at the end, and that kind of motivates config to, to just fall back and save. There's position has been revealed. They know exactly where he'd be headed. So a ninth round for phase as they battle back into nuke. This is a nice comeback that's being put together, and now they have the advantage of money as well. There's zero dollars on rush, fifty dollars on poison. So even with the losing bonus, that's not even close to being built up. Even if config wanted to drop, it's not going to give them anything meaningful. I think complexity have to save and phase have an easier time of getting to double digits. A much easier time, and I, I mean, you see Nico in a round like this. There's no reason he couldn't do something similar, at least in terms of opening outside. You know, he could definitely win more of those fights out there. If that happens once or twice more, it's a very open game. The economy for complexity is at a point where they could just have that one AK saved. And that is it. Game is not done yet. Nate towards red box, and nico has got an opening kill again. He knew Config was going to challenge. Knew that AK was going to try and create something for complexity, and he's ready for it. And that's scary. You asked what happens if Cold Zera gets mad. Well, I mean, once Nico starts heating up as well, you have a mad Cold Zera and a Nico with the hot hand. Rain had a one tap earlier. This phase is going to start building into this game despite the slow start. Yeah, and I think that's what we're seeing right now. And that's, that's trouble for anyone in the world. Even a well-playing complexity could absolutely crumble to uh, to some of those players starting to really warm up. Nico making the long move all the way towards the ramp room. The rest of them just have pistols. Um, one deagle in play. They should be just fine. A little bit of a shooting gallery here, almost catching another USP. There's the deagle down. He's doing it all. He didn't get the ace last time, but this time surely he's going to get it. Rush. He, yeah, he knows he's in here somewhere. He deserves it. Quad kill in the last round, and here comes the ace for Nico. <laughs> so well set up. He's down to five health, but that's nine kills across two rounds, and Nico clocking in 18 kills overall in the game. Yeah, he's just doubled his frag total in the past two rounds. That's, uh, that's pretty <laughs> impressive stuff. Rush almost stole that away from him as well. A dink afterwards. Nade forcing Config out into the open. Well, now we get to see, is this going to last? Is this Nico getting them started on the correct path, or is this Nico able to carry them through the entire rest of the map? FaZe needs six more rounds on this T side of Nuke, and now they're going up against the AWP of Poison. That's going to be outside. I love watching Poison playing with this AWP, but sometimes he does go missing a bit. When he's on point, though, it's, it's really spectacular. Again, He's one of those names that I just forget to mention whenever people ask about who's, you know, good with the AWP, and I, I can't even explain why. I feel bad about it every time. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> Rain, actually. Another hit would have done it. He's still hiding back there. That's that's bold. He didn't even move. That's... <laughs> There's the bullet hole right there. Nice little spam. 49 HP on Rain. Utility being used. Rain and Cold Zera outside as well, just waiting and biding their moment. All of FaZe being very patient. Look at all the utility they still have. It's only Brokey who's really used anything. There is no kit in play. There's only two smokes left for complexity, so a retake right now would just be very, very difficult. An attempted flash in outside, but Blame is going to be going down. They were so ready for it. Rain to pick up the kill. 40 seconds now. And how do they hold this bomb site? Standard Molotov to land on top of the hot. Some more flashbangs to follow through. And they're going to divert their attention in towards the ramp room. Let's see if they're going to be able to make it down in time. There's only 27 seconds left. And they made their way past. A little bit more damage standing on top of the fire. Poison really wanted that kill, but he can't get it. And now there's 20 seconds and there's no one downstairs for complexity. This is going to be just an open bomb site. I don't know what would save this round. Yes, some attempted floor wall banks are coming out from Poison, but it's unlikely he's going to be able to find anything. And the bomb will be planted. They find Nico, and I think they might just want to save what they have. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's that's definitely going to be the safe call. They're already evacuated over towards T-spawn. Nico's going to be able to transfer that information over. FaZe will still be, uh, still be sticking around this bomb just to be sure. But that's another nice round put together by the FaZe offense. Smart call as well to save these weapons from complexity. They were so out of position. Yes. Man, here we go. They're coming back into it. We've got, a, we've got ourselves a game. I thought for a moment after that first half, complexity might just be able to rattle off, especially the three rounds in a row that they got after losing the pistol. I thought they'd be able to just kind of take this map. I'm glad to see FaZe fighting back. This is their fourth straight to well, get up to 11 rounds. I feel like given how they've been playing for the rest of this tournament, you could have you could have made a good bet that they were going to be able to come back. I mean, they've looked like such a fresh team that it would have been just a, a, a huge oddity if they hadn't been able to turn this around. Um, so f I almost felt like it, it wasn't really a question of if they could have just like more like when is it going to be during this first map or would it have to wait to map number two? But I can't see just a, a, a phase not showing up for a for a best of three like this. So great stuff. I absolutely agree. It's wonderful to see this turn around. 12 to 11, and yeah, we're almost tied up. Aggressive Ooh. from Poison, and looked like there was an opportunity there. There was. That flashbang went past him. He didn't get blinded even a little bit. It might have just been uh, maybe an inch perfectly past his sight. So, FaZe get away with one a little bit. Nico not picked off outside, but it has certainly made them cautious. And in the confusion of all the smokes of that peak from Poison, it's Blame F who's pushed up all the way underneath Silo for the CT side, but he's got no one in support. It's just him all alone with the FAMAS and waiting to see if anyone crosses into his vision. Oh, he's going to start to move forward. He's actually tired of waiting. What a play this is. Again, this can really backfire. If he gets caught out here, it's going to open up a lot. It looks like they're setting up for it. He's almost found one person, but the timing here is absolutely everything. Let's see if this is genius or if he's going to get completely busted. It's Bimas going down to poison next. Nico also falling early on, so that's a big kill to get. Now they're monotoving into the corner, and they will get the kill. Rain, who was a victim of that same thing a couple of times, will go down to blame F right afterwards, who's also going to get the kill on Cold Zero. But that was the same trick that they wanted to use against com Complexity. They wanted the Molotov in the corner to force whoever was out there just into a fight. And with that kind of a flank, though, I mean, that's that's just beautiful. Complexity up to 13 rounds. Okay, nice. All nice. right. Nice. Nice. Oh. Oh. The complexity fan cams. Yeah, that's uh, that's a well-timed flank for Blame F coming around the back. And I think that's pretty much, I mean, you can only really use that trick once. I think that's going to put everyone on notice. Nico again going to lead the way. This time, much faster pace. But I don't think the smoke wall is up nearly as much as he'd like. In fact, it's not even close. That's four smokes thrown outside and not not even a completed wall. So a bit dangerous for FaZe, especially knowing that Poison has the AWP. Yeah, and he's up in heaven. He could just take a couple of steps back and he'll be he'll be looking out there. So do they want to risk it or all they have is another smoke, and that again, that won't cover everything. So I don't really know what the plan is from here on out. They have they have time to go back, so they don't have to commit to this outside play. Could maybe try and see if, instead of swinging out in the yard, just swing right around Mini into A and try and crunch it from 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 Squeak, from Hut, and from, from Mini. That would be a cool play. It's looking likely at the moment. Look at it, 48 seconds. Here they come, hugging the wall. Blame if we'll find one, but he gets taken down. So Cold Zero now, the only one that's going to be coming through that angle. He's actually going to go down secret instead. So I don't know if they changed their minds or if they wanted to do this all along, but now they got 30 seconds for a three, or sorry, for a four on four. And Oboe in position with the M4, gonna get one, and they just line up a nice triple spray down, taking that extra step to continue the fight and taking the initiative always is a good idea. Yeah, that was some poor spacing on that ramp take. Nice triple kill from Oboe. The Moss and Nico both kind of backtracked into each other's crosshairs and no one wanted the swing to get that trade. I think they were both kind of looking for the follow-up kill or the follow-up peak to come from that elbow. That's uh, that's tough to swallow. But even if they had gone upstairs, even if they didn't change that strategy, the upper bomb site had three defenders inside of it as well. So that was a losing that was a losing call also. Oboe with 20 kills, Config with 22. And Complexity just two rounds away from taking this first map. Two rounds away, starting to, to get a little bit of money in that round. 
And FaZe without a bomb plant, so that's also a little bit of an issue. They didn't get one in the previous round either. In fact, all the rounds that Complexity have won here have been rounds where they've denied FaZe any kind of off plant, so that is cumulatively going to be some money that they are uh, that they're going to be missing down the stretch of this game. Hey, outside, uh, ever since Nico got those two back-to-back -back rounds with, with four kills and five kills, he's had nothing. Kill us in the past two. Oh, yeah. So, and also, I mean, outside of that, nobody else from FaZe has taken that opportunity of Nico essentially hand-delivering them to two-round run to be able to get on the board as well. No one else has kind of really started firing at all cylinders. Cold Zera's at 15 kills, so is Rain. Nico's at 18. Well, then we, we know what the call is from FaZe here. Just Nico, you get another ace or a bot kill, then... The old Nico headshot strategy? Yeah, set us up for it. I mean... It's worked. I think it's been hard. This... This... Putting the AWP in Poison's hands, I mean, it's obviously not any kind of spectacular decision or, like, you know, genius decision, but obviously putting the op outside when he first got it in hand it was, was perfectly designed to neutralize Nico from having rounds like that because he had been beast moding entry kills outside a couple times. That's a great run boost. Poison has no idea. And Rain, there's the peek. Oh, but the shoulder peek gives it away. He didn't commit right off the bat, and Obo has another opportunity. First kill goes his way. Second kill as well, and Poison rotated over over. Phase is shut down again, and Complexity has four chances to close out the map. That actually felt like Obo was using the ghost of his past self in the previous round to bait out, you know, for, for him in this round, because he was, he was playing sort of the opposite side, and they actually ran in to try and check that corner that he got the triple from last time around, and he's on the other side. That looked really cool. Nico in a one versus five, and yeah, he's not going to get anything, obviously. Time running out, but... Would have been fun if you could have found a kill on anyone here. Do some damage. Anything, I think, to inspire the team uh, to to get the next four rounds in a row, which is what they need. And they don't have money or anything. This is this is not good. No, this is not going to be a pretty buy. They're uh, they're fighting with scraps here in the final round. Two tech nines, two AKs, and a Galil. Fifteen to eleven. And to outside we go. They have not been able to crack this defense three rounds straight now. In fact, two of them just spent timeouts. Flame F. Oh, they didn't check it. They didn't clear it. He is blind, but he's found the safety of the smoke. Relative safety as Nico takes him down. Poison with the up is just a little bit late to catch Nico. Well, rushes inside. He's been bored a little bit in the A bomb side for a while. Going to get some action this time around. A big double kill and complexity now. A kill away from taking the first map, which was picked by them here on Nuke. And it's been looking stunning. FaZe are going to have to have a real comeback on that.